We continue our Connect to Congress initiative with U.S. Congressman Darren LaHood of Illinois' 18th District. Congressman, I'd like to hear your response to President Donald Trump's decision on the Iran nuclear deal. Well, I think the Iran deal was flawed from the beginning. I was not in Congress when it was voted on here, uh, but I had real reservations about engaging uh, with Iran. Remember, Iran has not followed any of the international norms, hasn't abided by what the UN has done, what the international community has done, uh, and to trust them that they were going to do uh, to denuclearize, I think, was the wrong approach. Uh, so I give the president credit, um, but but I also uh, would implore upon our State Department and the president uh, to continue to have sanctions against Iran and work with our international partners, uh, particularly the EU and our the other democracies in Europe, to make sure that we have the strongest uh, sanctions in place against Iran. We cannot afford a nuclear Iran. And the other thing is, I think giving Iran billions and billions of dollars to fund terrorism and fund international actions, particularly in Syria and in Yemen and Lebanon, is the wrong approach to take. So I give the president a lot of credit. The presidents of North Korea and China secretly met this week. What do you take away from those secret meetings? Well, first of all, I think we're making great progress on that conflict. To think that you know, four months ago, Kim Jong-un was firing missiles into the Pacific, and today we have the possibility of having monumental peace. Uh, just today, uh, Secretary Pompeo is bringing back our three American prisoners uh, that have been held in captivity in North Korea. And so there's a lot of uh, goodwill that's going on. Uh, diplomacy and negotiation is working, at least up to this point. Obviously, the devil is in the details with the ultimate agreement that will come forth. But I give the president and his team, General Mattis, uh, Secretary Pompeo, uh, uh, General Kelly, a lot of credit for what we've done. And, and to think about the possibility we could have a denuclearized South Korea, a unification uh, with, with North and South Korea moving forward, uh, that's positive for the world. And the last thing is, um, things do not end well for dictators, whether you're Saddam Hussein, whether you're Hugo Chavez, or you're Muammar Gaddafi. And I think Kim Jong-un saw that. The latest jobs report shows the lowest unemployment since the year 2000. What do you think is causing this? Well, I think it's a combination of things. I think this administration has put a focus on how we get the economy thriving again. And uh, a lot of what I call common sense regulations. So if you're in agriculture, if you're in trucking, if you're in financial services, if you're in manufacturing, we've had an administration in place for the last 16 months that said, how do we let the private sector flourish? And that's equated into jobs and economic opportunities throughout my district and the country. We're on track to have 3% growth or over 3% growth this year in the second, third, and fourth quarter. Capital investments across the country are up 40%, uh, lowest unemployment uh, since 2000. Uh, and, and we've seen uh, positive signs throughout the economy. So we have to make sure it keeps going. And I would also say passing comprehensive tax reform, first time in 31 years, again, giving lower and middle class folks more of their hard earned money, uh, not crumbs as some people have described it. And then secondly, lowering the rates for mom and pop businesses on Main Street, medium sized businesses and large corporations. We're seeing the downstream effect. So all of that has helped uh, to get the economy where it's at. And again, uh, just last week, 3.9 unemployment uh, across the country, that's significant. You introduced a bill this week to help the American Legion in Quincy. What will that bill do? It's really a, um, a small bill, but uh, it would uh, allow, under our legislation, one parcel of land that's right near the Quincy Mall uh, to go to the American Legion. Uh, we've been working with the American Legion in Quincy uh, and their leadership there. Uh, to get this done. They do tremendous work for our veterans um, and for our military community in Quincy. It's been a very frustrating process for them. Back in 1956, they uh, allocated five acres of land to the federal government for $1. Uh, and all they wanted uh, over the last couple of years was to get uh, one parcel back, but it's been a frustrating process. So we've introduced this legislation. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I think we'll have bipartisan support and also support in the Senate. Again, to give this one parcel to the American Legion, they deserve it, uh, and, and this will allow them to have a facility there to help our veterans. Congressman Darren LaHood, we appreciate your time.